welcome back. Oh my God. I just put on the glasses. They are so dirty. Let me clean this. So, um, I'm doing another, I guess, I don't even know what these are called. Studio vlogs. Uh, day in the life of an artist thing. Okay. Much better. So, I am currently eating bag uh, chocolate chips out of a bag because why not? And I am drinking tea out of this mug that I recently got. It comes with a metal tea strainer, which, which was the reason why I got it. Because I have a lot of loose tea. And then it has a lid. I love that. Got it on Amazon. I think I'm done drawing for the day. I don't know. We'll see. It's like, what time is it? 6.30. So, yeah, I might be done drawing for the day. I have a bit of computer work that I have to do. I'm currently finishing a print that I'm actually very excited about that I'll show you in a minute. That I think it's done and I think I'm gonna upload it to my website. Also, I was cleaning. I have to clean, I literally just cleaned. But I have to clean again, so ignore the hot mess of everything if you, like, clutter everywhere. It's fine. I found this container. Oh my god, I am so excited I found this. I bought this so many years ago in a candy shop and it had m terrible mints in it but the only reason that I bought it was because Bob Ross was on it I love Bob Ross I can watch his Netflix special for hours can anyone relate does anyone else love Bob Ross I love him but I store like random stuff in here like I have a flash drive I have my um, thing that connects to my other mouse that I have in case my Apple one needs to be charged. And then I just have random stuff in here, but I'm very happy that I found this because I can't throw that away. So I am going to probably watch some YouTube videos, maybe I'll listen to a podcast. Nah, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos while I do this. I really like watching like other people's studio vlogs. Other people's studio vlogs. Can't talk while I do this sort of thing. It kind of motivates me in a way. So I think I'm going to do that. Drink my tea. Eat the rest of these. And I think I'm going to put this up on my website. I think it's ready to go. I've been working on it the past few days. In the midst of all the commissions I have to finish but you know sometimes I just get random inspiration like for instance this which you'll see in a minute I saw something similar where was it I was uh was it home goods or Marshall's I don't know, I was at one of those stores and I it's I didn't see this exact thing but I saw something similar and I was like that would be really cool if I like added color. So I kind of get my inspiration from random like when I'm out shopping, random art pieces that they have. Overpriced art pieces that they have, might I say. Um but yes, currently I am working on this, which I really, really like. Uh, it's really simple, and it's just this 
uh, what is this plant called? It is a fiddle leaf, fiddle leaf fig tree. And I just added some color. So I think I'm going to export this and add it to my website. So I'm going to work on that and set you up somewhere. It's very yellow and I'm just now realizing that it's a little yellow, but it's fine. At first I thought it was my glasses because I'm wearing blue light glasses, but I think it's the light. I don't know. Okay. Okay, it's a little annoying. I don't know, I was having problems with like the sizing, but I think I got it. Um, but I also wanted to mention, because I don't think a lot of people know, I think just a lot of people who um, order my prints kind of assume that I print them out myself, which I don't. I actually, thought about doing that for a minute but um the reason I didn't want to is for whatever reason I'm kind of prepping for the future in a way is that if I don't want to be overwhelmed with printing prints myself for the most part I mean I could handle it because I only get a handful of prints every week but as more and more people are discovering my prints it's going to be more and more things that I have to print and I just don't want that stress at all. So I use a website called Pixels and basically it's a website that a ton of artists use. There's tons of different prints and it gives you the option to sell your prints there which I love. Um, here let me show you. So the thing that I really like, so this is the one that I just put on the website, um, but the thing that I really like about this website, it's called where is it at? Pixels. So this is actual website that I use to sell my that I sell my prints. But what I really like is they have an art print which is just basically a papered print, but then you can also, which is more expensive, you can also get a framed print, you can get a canvas print, um an acrylic print they print it on wood and then they also do a metal print which I think is super cool so there's just different options which I love and I mean even though they're more expensive I mean this is the, the smallest print that I have but it kind of gives you it gives you an idea but, as I was saying, even though obviously they're going to be more expensive because you're printing your artwork on metal or you're printing it on wood or there, I really, really try to keep my prices on the lower side. It's really hard to do that when you're going through an actual website and not printing it out on your own. But I just, I don't want the stress of printing all these prints out and doing commission work. And working 40 hours a week, it's a lot. <laughs> so, 
and making stickers, which are coming soon. But I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so the cheapest option is to basically get a regular print and just buying the frame yourself. I really try to make my prints come in like everyday sizes that you can just buy a picture frame, but sometimes it's really hard and I'm trying to figure out how to juggle that because I've gotten some complaints about that, but it's a little difficult, so. Yeah, I just thought I would share that. But I think I'm done with this computer work for now. My glasses keep falling off my face and it's driving me crazy. But I was thinking about making stickers. I've been thinking about this idea for quite some time and I think I'm gonna do it. I'm debating I think what I'm gonna do because making stickers is an investment to say <laughs> I mean you have to buy the sticker cutter you have to buy the mats that come with the sticker that are with the sticker cutter you have to buy the paper you have to buy the labels but I really want to make them eco-friendly if possible I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if they make eco-friendly labels. So I really, I need to look into it and kind of do my research before just buying a sticker cutter and diving right in. I guess I want to make them as eco-friendly as possible and have the materials that I use be eco-friendly. Like I'm really into elephant poop paper I don't know if anyone has jumped on the bandwagon, but I love it. And I was thinking about making like a thank you card or some sort of thank you card, but printing it on elephant poop paper, just a thought. But I'm really, really debating whether or not I should make stickers. And I'm kind of leaning on the side that I want to. I don't know, I need to like figure out the details or whatever, but this is, this is my thought. So I was thinking about making these individual prints that I have into stickers and here, let me go to my actual website to kind of show you. I did originally have all these prints together and then I decided, oh, this is not supposed to be there. I need to fix that. But these, let me see if I can click on this. So this is one of the prints and basically I made them individually so you could kind of do something like this. And then eventually I'm going to add more so you can kind of swap out and mix and match whatever one you want. But I was thinking that they'd make really cool stickers. So one of them says love, one of them says be happy, one of them says wave, and one of them says smile. So I don't know, I was just kind of debating what would make good stickers. Maybe even possibly making these succulents into stickers. I could do that. I actually didn't even think about that until now. Um, this I don't, I don't think any of these others would be good. This might be a possibility, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with these four. I don't know, I'm just, basically thinking out loud. So I am going to charge this battery. I think I'm going to call it a night. I had today off so I didn't actually have to work at my job today but it's definitely like nine o'clock. I've been staring at this computer for three hours. 
but I've been eating chocolate, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh, and I'm probably going to watch Downton Abbey because that's the show that I've been obsessed with lately. But I think that's going to be it for this video. I am definitely going to make more of these because I am constantly doing commissions. I'm constantly adding things to my website. Um, I'm constantly like editing videos. And yeah, so thanks for watching once again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!